What up, Bucks fans? Matt Matera here from PewterReport.com. Wanted to talk to you guys about the latest breaking news for your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was reported earlier this morning from Mike Garofolo and Ian Rappaport, both of the NFL Network, that the Bucs are zeroing in on their next offensive coordinator, and they are working on hiring Liam Cohen to be the offensive play caller. Liam Cohen has a history of calling plays, was the offensive coordinator for the Kentucky Wildcats last season, and also was the OC under Sean McVay for the Rams in 2022. He's actually gone back and forth between Kentucky and the Rams for quite a while now. Um, all the way back from 2018 through 2020, he was with the Rams as an assistant wide receivers coach for the first two years and then assistant quarterbacks coach in 2020. Then in 2021, he went to Kentucky to be their offensive coordinator. 2022, as I just said, went to the Rams to be their OC. And then in 2023, went to uh, Kentucky to be their offensive coordinator. So this is a good thing for the Buccaneers because he does have that history of being a play caller, having that in-game experience, which was something that Dave Canales did not have last season when he came to Tampa Bay. So that already checks a box for um, the Bucs as they do this search. Another big thing with Liam Cohen, he worked with Will Levis back in 2021 and helped him become a uh, premier prospect at quarterback during the draft when he went to the Tennessee Titans. Ran a lot of play action. They were one of the best in the league in all of college football running play action with Will Levis a couple of seasons ago. And I believe they were in the top 20 when it came to uh, Kentucky's offense this year. So that's obviously part of the type of the offense that the Bucs want to run. And another really important thing for Liam Cohen and the Buccaneers is that Liam Cohen, because he worked with the Rams, has a connection to Shane Waldron, who, of course, was a play caller for the Rams and worked in Seattle. So he also worked, I'm talking about Waldron, worked with Dave Canales. And Canales took a little bit of what Shane Waldron had and made it his own. So you can kind of connect the dots a little bit with Cohen working with Waldron. It's not going to be exactly like Waldron's offense or the offense of Dave Canales, but there will be similarities between what you saw with Canales and the Bucks' offense last year and what you could see with Cohen running Tampa Bay's offense this year. So a little bit of continuity is something that the Bucks have been looking for. And obviously the big thing as well is what does this mean for Baker Mayfield. Can the Bucs still re-sign Baker Mayfield? Well, in even better news, Cohen, when he was the offensive coordinator with the Rams in 2022, if you recall, that's when Baker Mayfield came to the Rams late in the season, found some success right away with that miraculous win after not even being with the team for more than 48 hours, and they worked a couple of games together. So there is some familiarity between Liam Cohen and Baker Mayfield. This doesn't 100% mean that Baker is guaranteed to come back. He was at the ESPN Pro Bowl games the other day and said it kind of depends on what Tampa Bay does. I think the Falcons are still very much in play for Baker Mayfield, maybe a team like the Vikings or someone else out there. But – Having some familiarity with Liam Cohen connecting with Baker Mayfield, I think that's really important. It also helps the Bucs because Baker should still be priority number one in terms of finding their next quarterback or keeping their current quarterback, if you will. But I don't think it means that all the eggs have to be in the Baker Mayfield basket because Liam Cohen has coached at the collegiate level, has worked with someone like Will Levis. He can kind of try to work some more magic with a rookie quarterback that, that is coming in or a, a quarterback from a, another team that may become a free agent or however it works. He's been coaching for a very long time. Um, he started at Brown in 2010 and uh, is a Northeast guy, went to Rhode Island in 2011, 
uh, back to Brown and then UMass, which is his alma mater, and uh, coached at Maine as well before he did um, all of those stints with Kentucky and the Rams. So a long coaching history for Liam Cohen. Peter Schrager of uh, the NFL Network also had a, a fun fact that when he was the quarterback's coach, uh, or sorry, the, a quarterback at Boston College, he was also roommates with Victor Cruz. So that's just a little fun fact for you there. But this is great news for the Buccaneers. They were doing a lot of interviews. A lot of other candidates turned them down after interviewing with them. Um, Alex Van Pelt went to the Patriots. Gerard Johnson decided he's going to stay with the Texans. So the walls were closing in a little bit. It was getting a little bit slimmer and narrow in the searching margin. But they found a guy with experience that's worked with a bunch of different people and has that connection to Baker Mayfield. I know some Bucks fans were worrying. We'll see how it goes. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be an absolute slam dunk or home run or whatever, but this is a good step in the right direction. The Bucks have found their offensive coordinator. Now they can work on getting their O-line coach. They can work on getting their wide receivers coach and filling out the rest of the team. Hopefully this means re-signing Baker Mayfield. Even more importantly, hopefully it means they re-sign Mike Evans, but overall, I'd say a thumbs up for the Buccaneers. Liam Cohen is their newest offensive coordinator. Thanks, guys, for listening to me today. PeterReport.com will keep you updated with all the latest news with the Bucs with Liam Cohen. But the Bucs have their newest offensive coordinator.